Hey guys, my name is Jade Wee and welcome to Dallas Jamming. In this video, I wanted to talk about not needing A in order to do B. So a lot of times in our lives, we think that in order to be able to do something, we need to accomplish another thing. An example would be, in order to be able to make music, I need this specific device, right? And we convince ourselves that this is something that we need, that if we don't have it, then we can't do it. And it doesn't always pertain to material things. It also pertains to situations in our lives. For example, my situation, I've been like trying all year, trying to like get a designated studio music space, like an actual music room. So I got an office space. I had that for like a month. It didn't work out. It was just too far from my home. I couldn't really be loud as I wanted to. Glad I was able to get out of that. I'm glad that I didn't waste any more money on that project because I ended up using that money for something else. But after that, I convinced myself that I needed to move into a three bedroom. And like, I've been doing my best, like trying my hardest to try to make that happen. But with the pandemic, it just doesn't really make sense. Like everything is super expensive right now and everything in the world is just telling me no. And like, we see that happen when we try to force a situation and the world is like, no, not right now. No, you know, you need to do something else. Um, listen to the universe like if you feel that the world is telling you hey you know slow down a little bit maybe maybe you don't need that three-bedroom apartment to make the videos that you've been making in your living room for the past five years you know like I convinced myself that this is something that I needed so what I'm trying to get at is you don't need A to do B. So whatever situation that you're in, whatever thing that you think that you need, realize that you've done a lot more with less. There's a great saying by Epicurus and it goes like this, do not spoil what you have by desiring what you have not. Remember that what you now have was once among the things you only hoped for. And this is so true because once we get something, we're already on to the next thing. And it's really easy to just keep chasing, keep chasing, and another great saying, I think this one is by Seneca, is it is not he who doesn't have who is poor, it is he who has and is never satisfied. And all of these sayings pertain to many things in life, but these have definitely helped me deal with my gas a lot because it's really easy to just go and get excited about that new thing or hey, maybe I need this for my setup. My setup would be so much better if I had this one thing. And then we put everything on hold until that specific piece gets there or we sell a bunch of things to try to get that one thing or we see somebody else making really cool music on a certain device and we're like, hey, I need that too. So something that I've really been trying to learn, like what are they doing about it? So just like Epicurus said, we need to appreciate what we have because once we start longing for other things, the things that we do have seem like less, they seem inferior. Something that I've really been trying to focus on is to really appreciate and love the things that I have, even the space that I'm at. So like for a long time, I'm like, oh, I'm in my living room, I hate being here. You know, the TV's blasting over there, I can't get my work done. But now it's like, okay, now I have my own schedule. I'm gonna make videos from this time to this time. I have the house to myself from this time to this time and I'm gonna get my work done. And hey, actually, it's really nice having all my music stuff in the living room because if I had a room, I wouldn't have this beautiful view that I have with my plants, being able to get all of that natural sunlight. So like seeing the positive in things really helps you appreciate more your situation. And learning to love where you're at instead of where you want to be. Like learn to love your home, learn to love the situation that you have. Like make your home the place where you want to be. Like you wanna be excited about getting to wherever your music setup is, be it in your living room, be it in your little corner in your bedroom whatever it is get excited about that spot because once upon a time you didn't have that space you didn't have that gear and you longed for it and you wish you had it and remember those times when you had nothing like I lived in the hotel ecosystem for like almost four years with nothing moving around from here to there just with a cheap little Mac like it was a lot at the time to have a MacBook for me and you know making garage band beats on like that little MacBook and just looking back at when I had very little and right now I definitely have a lot of stuff and I feel it like I feel the anxiety of having a lot of things but I recognize it as what it is it's not like I'm still trying to figure out okay maybe if I add another piece then I'll feel better no the thing with me and like my situation is different from a lot of my viewers because like I actually do this for a living now. Like I'm actually doing music stuff for a living. I buy gear specifically just to review it and make videos on it and then I sell it. So a lot of the things that you guys do see, they're not part of my regular setup. My regular music making setup still remains very minimal. It's my montage, my SP404 and the machine. That's it. Yes, I have all this other gear that I mess with from time to time, but if anything were to go wrong in my life, I can just sell that and not worry about it. That's another thing. 
don't get attached to material things because just like they come, they can go. So yeah, so just appreciate where you're at, appreciate what you have and get excited about the future, but don't get like so anxious about it. Like, you know, I need to have this now or like I need to be in this situation now because I know if I keep working hard, eventually I will have my own music room. But for now, it's not the right time. So I'm not gonna force the situation. I'm gonna be thankful for what I have. I'm gonna work just like I've been doing for the past five years with less. So it's not impossible to get things done. I have a lot of exciting things that I'm working on. I have a lot of gear that I've acquired during this pandemic that I plan to make videos with, and that's exciting. I have a really cool video dropping before the end of the month, so don't forget to hit that subscribe if you haven't already. And take care of yourself. It's not all about music. Yes, I know it can seem like it is, especially sometimes. Like I know when I get in the zone or when I start making like animations on my iPad or anything, I'll be there for like hours and like turn around and look like, oh, hey, hey family, <laughs> you exist. So, you know, it's definitely important to take breaks, make sure that you're setting time aside for your family, for your work, for your home, for whatever it is that you need to set time for, not just your music and your hobby, because that's when things really get, you know, unbalanced. And you really need to keep a balance in your life if you want to be able to like, if you don't want to go crazy. And you'll see overall that you'll be more happy with your situation. You can go and do something else that's not music related and then come back to your setup and appreciate it and really be thankful for what you have. That's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I just dropped my album says NFTs. More on that later, but you can check them out. They'll be in the description below. But yeah, we're gonna be talking about NFTs very soon once I have my store all set up and ready. But that's a whole nother episode for a whole different video. Take care guys and I'll catch you in the next one.